Hello everyone. If you don't know me, my name is Corey and my brand is Koa and I'm currently based in Edinburgh. I identify as a trauma-informed, somatic and holistic practitioner. It's a bit of a mouthful, isn't it? Um, the reason I landed on that, um, that title, that label, I don't know, whatever you want to call it, that professional identity, was that as I've evolved in my brand and in myself as a person, um, I've started offering so many different practices that I couldn't just call myself a systemic coach or a sound practitioner um, or a yoga teacher. I needed something that encompassed everything that I offer. And so that's where I landed. Uh, so for, again, if you're watching this, you possibly don't know me, uh, so a little bit about me. So I was born in Switzerland um, 45 years ago, uh, and my parents left when I was about six months old. Um, and then I have lived in so many different countries since then, uh, including South Africa, including um, America, uh, England, Scotland, uh, France. Um, and Switzerland, of course, where I was born and actually later returned to and lived for lived in for a few years. Um, so, yeah, but what I guess most importantly to know is that I've been living in the UK since I was 12. Uh, the United Kingdom is home. Uh, I've been in Scotland. Well, I came to Scotland when I was, oh my gosh, how old was I? 19 um, and was here for 10 years, then moved abroad with my partner and came back and have been back in the UK now for about six odd years and back in Scotland, particularly in Edinburgh, for about five years now. Uh, and I can say that Scotland for me has always felt like home. Uh, I think having lived in so many different countries in my life, um, it's interesting that when I landed in Scotland at the age of 19, I was like, I'm home. And I feel very grateful that everything has come full circle and I am back to a place where I feel settled, um, grounded and a huge connection to my heart. So yeah, that's a little bit kind of personally about me. I have a cat, his name is Leo. Many of you may see him in my posts. Um, he likes to kind of get involved and join in every so often. Uh, yeah, okay, so professionally, I guess why, that's why I've come on, a little bit about what I do, because a lot of people get a bit confused. They're like, Corey, what is it you actually do? Because I do so many different things. So you'll see in my offerings that I do things like very newly aerial sound baths. Um, I do sound journeys with Reiki that I do in blocks of four. Um, I do one-to-one -one Reiki sessions. Um, I what else do I do? I, I do collaborations, lots of collaborations with various professionals from various backgrounds, whether it's shamanism, yoga, uh, well-being, Reiki and so forth. Um, I love collaborating with people. And um, as a pro professional, I guess, most importantly, as a professional, I have quite a varied toolkit. So I am a Reiki master. Um, I am a systemic coach. I did a postgraduate um, degree or diploma in uh, systemic coaching and systemic constellation work many moons ago. Um, I have a background in counselling. I did um, rape and sexual abuse counselling training again many, many moons ago and worked in that field for about four years. I have a, um, what else do I have? I'm a, I'm a sound therapist. This is where I do the sound journeys and one-to-one -one sound uh, baths and sound massages. Um, I'm a mindfulness teacher and practitioner. Um, I'm a yoga teacher. Yeah, I'm a yoga teacher. In um, So I started with vinyasa and then I moved on to yin and restorative and recently did my trauma-informed yoga training as well. Um, I'm just so passionate about that. I, I love anything to do with movement. Um, and then I guess what have I covered? Reiki, sound, mindfulness, um, coaching. I feel like I've missed something, but I'll put all the information below. Um, I guess what one thing you'll know well one thing you'll understand if you don't know me and as you get to know me is that i love to continually um, learn new things and develop new practices and the essence of that is that i want to have a toolkit where i can offer various offerings that allow people to regulate their nervous system that's what it comes down to so I'm a big believer that um, it's all about using the voice, using the body, having a very holistic approach in many ways to regulate the body. 
Now, this can be for people that experience, have experienced trauma or people actually who just want to learn to kind of manage the way they live their lives, maybe be less reactive, maybe have clearer boundaries. Um, you know, life is not easy by any means. And so it's really important that we have this wonderful toolkit of various practices that we can use. And what I can say is every practice that I teach or I demonstrate, I have used myself. Um, I have gone through trauma myself, I've gone through life's challenges, you know, I'm a human being and I've used all the practices myself and I'm hugely passionate about them. Um, I've kind of touched on trauma a little bit. I guess I should say that in my day job, I work in community justice in a, a small specialist team that works um, in a trauma-informed way. Um, we use a lot of mindfulness as well, and um, I'm actually a, a national trainer, a specialist trainer in mindfulness and compassion uh, for social work staff who work within the community justice setting. Um, so it's kind of something that I, I have in my day job, in my color brand. I'm very passionate about working with practices where we can regulate. Um, and I guess that's all about the nervous system, isn't it? So I am trained um, in trauma-informed practice. I have recently gotten really, really excited and inspired by... Uh, different practices that I hadn't been aware of in the somatic and embodiment field. So I recently finished my, uh, oh, it's a bit of a mouthful, I'll warn you, Integrative Somatic Trauma Therapy Training. Yeah, the ISTT with the Embody Lab. Um, I also last year, was it last year, I'm losing track, or this year, no, last year, finished training in trauma-informed yoga as well as embodiment practices um, with the wonderful Aneta from uh, Golden Mandala, um, and then I'm about to embark now on training with uh, the Trauma Research Foundation with Bezel van der Kolk and its trauma studies, it's a postgraduate certificate. I've done compassionate mind training as well, and I'm currently in the final stages of finishing my diploma. Um, so I offer a lot, um, and you'll see that in my offerings. So again, why do I have so many different offerings? I like to have different offerings because there's some people that may want to do my surrender series, which is basically um, there's a, a one and a two, which can be done one after the other or individually. But it's a four-part series where we explore... How does our nervous system work? How can we regulate our nervous system? What is important to understand within our bodies, in our minds, in our hearts, how we set boundaries, what's healthy, what's not, what is serving us, what is not. So it's a wonderful way to really kind of take a deep dive into understanding our nervous system and our bodies. And I offer loads and loads of wonderful practices. Um, everyone gets a private YouTube link and, and there's lots of information that you get in both the one and two four part series. So for some people, they want to kind of get a base understanding where they have a mixture of experiential learning. So practices that are demonstrated and done together in a group setting um, and also get kind of the science behind it, which I think is really important because knowledge is power. I think I, I could stand here and go, oh, let's jump around for five minutes and it makes you feel good. But actually, it's really important to understand, actually, we're doing this because it has an impact on the nervous system because it's linked to the parasympathetic nervous system where we rest and digest, where we calm. So, yeah, so there's the foundation in the series. And then I'm also offering individual workshops this in 2024, which is new. For those that maybe feel like, actually, I have quite a strong foundation and I just want to do um, a 90-minute workshop on... Um, on whether it's compassion or boundaries or whatever that may be. And all of them include a brief introduction to the nervous system as well and why we do these practices. So it's nice to have that option. Some may even do the workshop and then sign up for the course. Um, then when it comes to sound, I love to do my sound journeys in Reiki because for some people it's actually about just once a month going somewhere where they can regulate their nervous system, find stillness, find calm, not necessarily doing a course or a workshop or being in a group setting where it's all about connection, but it's maybe more about their individual journey. And I guess that kind of, that fits in also with my new um, aerial sound baths, which are very new, haven't done them yet, first one this week, very exciting. So yeah, it, it kind of, it depends. Uh, what else? Some people come to me for one-to-one -one bespoke sessions. Um, these are very bespoke. So anyone that's interested in doing a one-to-one -one session with me, the first thing we do is we have a free connection call where we work out, is this for you? What is it you need? Is what I offer the right thing? Um, and then it's initially about building a rapport and a bit of trust, which is really important. 
and then we explore what works. So it could be that, yeah, you need to actually take a deeper dive into how you set boundaries. Maybe you need very clear practices that are bespoke to you where you can learn to regulate yourself or manage your life in a way that feels calmer and less reactive. It may be that you're going just through a really difficult time right now and you need someone to talk to or maybe to come along to and do maybe 60 minutes of somatic or embodied movement. So they're very, very bespoke and they're the most actually difficult to describe and explain, which is why I do the free connection call. So if you're interested in that, get in touch. Um, and then, of course, there's the other things. Reiki, a beautiful complementary therapy that I offer. It's a wonderful way to connect with your energy and just feel... Um, feel a reconnection, feel a balance, um, maybe work through some emotional um, challenges that you have. Um, same with sound, that can be done one-to-one. -one. And then of course the yoga and all those other wonderful things, I bring those usually into my, uh, my collaborations that I do. So retreat days, workshops and so on. Um, you can find all that information here on my social media. Uh, you can get in touch with me if you have questions. What else is important? Um, oh, I'm currently updating my website, doing that today. Uh, well, I say today. My plan is to have it done by the end of January. So there'll be a lot more information about everything that I offer on there because currently I feel like it just doesn't resonate with me and it should. Uh, so keep an eye out. I'll keep you posted when the website is good to go. Um, anyway, I've just realized that I've been waffling on for almost 12 minutes. That's a really, really, really long post. Um, so for those of you that have listened to the end, thank you. <laughs> I hope it's given you a bit of a feel for what I do and why I do it um, and how passionate I am about it. So in essence, all the offerings that I offer are about learning to regulate the nervous system, getting into that parasympathetic nervous system where we rest and digest, learning to set better boundaries in our life, healthier boundaries, learning what serves us, what doesn't, and having those tools and practices with a scientific basis and research-based, evidence-based basis to really make changes in our lives. Yeah, any questions, get in touch. And thank you for listening. All right, have a beautiful morning, afternoon, or night, wherever you are, and uh, take good care.